guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be explaining how to undervolt your laptop CPU using Throttle Stop 9.0 to reduce temperatures. Just real quick before we get into the video, just a quick word on our sponsor for today's video. GameFun365.com is a website where you can purchase various product keys for software such as Microsoft Windows. You also have gift cards as well as Xbox Live game cards and PlayStation Network. You also have some games available on PC with some pretty good prices. So check it out. Head on over there and check it out. We have a promotion code down below in the comments for 20% off. What is undervolting? As we know, CPUs require electricity to run. And more often than not, you have more power going to the CPU than required. And this results in a lot of unnecessary heat. In laptops, this will also heat up the GPU since the CPU and the GPU share the same confined space. So let's get into it. Right now we're running the CPU on the default voltage values. So let's just go right ahead and run a benchmark to see how hot it gets with the default values by clicking TS Bench. I'll make it a rather long test on maximum threads. And what you want to do is pay attention to the maximum temperature right here, right here. And let's go ahead and start the benchmark and see how hot it gets. Okay, as you can see, the benchmark is over. And if we look at the maximum temperature, 92 Celsius. That is approaching boiling point. That's kind of ridiculous. So let's get into the undervolting. What you want to do is click FIVR right here. Now, at the top here, you see CPU core and CPU cache. These two are the only things you're going to be touching in here. So first, CPU core, you'll want to unlock the adjustable voltage. Scroll, uh, move down to offset voltage. And this number here, now it'll vary between laptop to laptop. This might be stable for me, but not stable for you. So what I did was I started at minus 50 and I ran the benchmark. It was stable. I went down to minus 55. I ran the benchmark. It was stable. 
No errors popped up here in the benchmark. Eventually I got down to minus 125 millivolts and it was still somewhat stable. So I'm still working with these numbers. So this is near the sweet spot. So I'll keep it for now and tweak it later. Also, CPU cache right here under CPU core. CPU cache, unlock adjustable voltage, go down to offset voltage again. And on this specific laptop, again, I was stable at around minus 55 and it started to get a little weird lower than that which the benchmark indicated with error codes. So we'll use minus 55 for the CPU cache and minus 125 for the CPU core for this specific test, for this specific laptop. Okay, save voltages immediately down here, click apply and okay. Great. Remember this number, 92 Celsius. We are going to run the same exact benchmark and we will compare the temperatures before and after we adjusted and reduced the voltages. So let's start the test and see. Well, there we go. Maximum temperature recorded by throttle stop was 85 Celsius after we undervolted it. Before we undervolted it, as we know, it was 92 Celsius. There are no error codes, so currently my settings are stable for the undervolt. Now, just some things to keep in mind, guys. Be very careful when dealing with these voltages, okay? You don't want to move the slider forward, okay? That's adding voltage to your CPU. You can fry your chip like that. Do not do that. Same applies to CPU cache. Do not increase voltage, please. You want to reduce the voltage. Yes, you can face some crashes in reducing your voltage, but your PC will just restart and you'll be right back in Windows. You are not frying anything, it's a lack of power. So do keep that in mind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave these voltages on. And one more thing to, one more thing to point out, something very important as well, between the CPU core and the CPU cache voltages. If you use Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, these two values are linked and locked to each other. So whatever the CPU core is set to, 
the CPU cache will also honor the same setting. It is forced to follow the CPU core offset voltage. Now that was causing a lot of crashes for me and I, I really struggled to figure it out until I used throttle stop. Everywhere online you read, it says people are advising each other to keep the same offset voltage between the CPU core and the cache. In my specific case, that was not a good idea. So I really had to play around with the numbers until I could get it right. So results may vary. It depends on the silicon lottery. Every chip is constructed slightly differently, microscopically. So what I have, my values may not match your values. They probably won't. Even if you're using the same exact CPU that I have, we will not have the same exact values. So keep that in mind. This will also reduce the GPU temperatures. I've noticed after undervolting, my GPU itself runs at uh, a, a good bit higher than before undervolting. So overall, this will increase performance. You know, the less heat, the better. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let us know what you think about this. Let us know your outcomes. If you have any questions, just shoot us a comment and we'll be back to reply as soon as we can. Thank you for listening and watching, guys. Hope to see you next time. Thank you, and if you like the channel, please subscribe and stay tuned for next time.